Alright, here we are. Darn, I'm in the office, so I'm muted. Be he. Be he in an hour if you're still playing. I you'll be he. I'm excited that you'll be he, Ponza. Welcome everybody. Um Woo! Uh I I had a pretty scary day. I'm not gonna get into it. Uh so I thought I would play a scary game. Because I have some time. And I've been wanting to get back into this guy. Uh, we're close to the end. We're close. Not, maybe we won't beat it, but we might. We shall see. But here we go. Resident Evil. Part 3. Uh, I can't remember where we left it. Oh, right, right. We had just finished the bit with Lisa in the cave where she's chasing us around. And trying to slap us around with that giant brick thing. Man, she does some damage. All right, let's get back into that then. I think we actually had to ghost through that area that uh, we were in a second ago with Lisa and all of her stuff. So let's check out that area. There may be an item down there or something. Let's see. Let's check the map. That's a good way to know. Well, hey, let's just pop back down this way. We'll climb down the ladder. Thrilling sequence, climbing down that ladder. Uh, and here we are in a lovely area. Uh, this is where Elisa made her home. Uh, oh, this area still has some stuff. Oh, it's the it's the herbs that are over here that I have to get. Yeah. Well, let's see. Maybe there's some stuff down here. I just wanted to explore this a little bit more thoroughly. Because there is some cool lore type stuff down here. And I just want to make sure we go through it bunch of photographs featuring a young girl depicting various scenes from her upbringing. Hmm. We're not going to go in the water because we know what's in the water. This looks like a family photo. The mother and daughter seem to be pretty close. Yeah, they're even closer now, if you know what I mean. They uh, have their faces, I think, sewn together. This bed is still warm. Okay, nothing else down there. I just want to check that out. Sometimes there's like some cool lore type stuff in that area. I think I may have already picked it up though. So we're back in the cabin. Uh, way, way, way out. In the very far reaches of the, uh, the outskirts of the mansion in the forest. So we have to venture back through the forest. But let's get some item box switching happening. Shotgun shell is good to have. I don't want 80 of these. I don't want 35 of these. Can we combine anything with this? Jewelry box. Do we have anything? Let's see. Oh, we got a yellow gemstone. Maybe that combines. Let's see. Metal of eagle. Metal of wolf. Metal object. Oh, I know what we got to do next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm familiar. Let's see. All right, let's see if we can combine that yellow gemstone with that thing. No. Oh, but I know where that goes. The yellow gemstone. So we'll go do the yellow gemstone bit. Uh, let's examine this thing. Oh, it opens. Hey! You got the stone ring. A family picture and notes. There's something right on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica, administered virus type A. Plasmal plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion, negative. Action, disposed. Lisa, administered virus type B. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion, po virus fusion positive, but delayed fusion. Body modification, observed constant results. Status, continue protective observation. I can read really well. George, action terminated. Poor George. November 30th, 1967. Hmm. There's a journal left by someone. <gasps> November 14th, 1967. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that she would escape together. That we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th, 1967. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake. Not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. What? Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. Whoa. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Yep. 
because mom's sad when I meet her without her face. November 17, 19, uh, from Inside Box. Scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. Mmm, remember that four stones bit, folks. That's gonna come into play later. Good lord. Okay, whew. All right, so we got a, we got a stone ring, and we have a metal object, I think. Yep. So we can totally combine those. Um, we're not going to need any herbs or anything like that, I don't think. Although we are at caution, so why don't we just uh, take an herb uh, just for just for fun? Um, we got this guy. Let's bring that. Okay. All right, and then so we'll go do the bit with the yellow gemstone, and we'll do the bit with the. Uh, Um, the stone and metal object, and then I think we'll be fine after that. All right. I can't remember what's in these woods after you do that whole bit with Lisa. I think the zombies are all gone now. There might be some hunters kicking around in this area. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, just, just in case there are. We'll get that mag loaded. I have to remember how to shoot. Okay, nothing here. That's good. Go, Jill, go! All right, through the gates! Oh! Greetings, friend. Peace out, dude. I'm just gonna run past this area because I actually don't need to come back to this area again until, like, ever. I don't need to come back until ever. I just needed him to be out of the way. And I think, uh, do we have more guys to fight over in this area? I don't think so. It's just those two. All right, back into the mansion. Through this passageway that has a million things. From Barry. I think they're still here. Well, we got first aid sprays. We got this door here. But the important thing that we want is the thing that's right through this door. We want this thing. The crest fits perfectly in the indentation. Will you take the stone and metal object? Yes, I will. So now that door is locked, but it's okay. We don't need to go through there anymore. I'm pretty sure there's a little puppy here waiting to see me. Let's see. No, oh, maybe not. Well, I will get loaded up for that uh, round with the hunter. Maybe he's behind this door. Let's see. Hmm. Let's walk very slowly. Okay. All right, so let's see. Quickest way to that hallway is through Crow Hall, so we'll do that. We want to get back to the main room of the game. The first room you get to when you're in the game when you're in the mansion the first room that you're in the main room you know the main room the main game god shut up crows i wonder if there are any baddies in this area let's see let's see ah, it doesn't look like it cool smooth sailing that's what i like to see All right, so we want to put the stone and metal object and the other stone and metal object in a certain place in this room. So let's go do that. It's this fun door here that makes a scary noise. Ooh. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. I wonder if Jill talks as slowly as she reads. There are octagonal indentations to the right and left of the door. 
It reminds me of Drew Barrymore's character from Batman Returns, that voice. That's like, something is wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't want that game. Ugh, there's something about that other indentation. What could it be? Now that's unlocked. But before we do that, we're going to go to F Hall and do the bit with the yellow gemstone. Because I think there's something with the yellow gemstone that we want to take care of. Let's see. Quickest way to F Hall. Home in an hour. Got it. Hello, Nada and chat. What's up, Chase? Welcome to the patty. Uh, we're going to head to F Hall. Yep. How's your day going, dude? Okay, here we go. Heading through F Hall. F that hall. The music is slightly different in this area. Ooh, scary. I don't think there are hunters in here. Let's see. Okay, I don't think they're in here. Pretty chill, just doing some last minute shopping. You're shopping? Are you shopping and like watching? Wow. Are you like at Target? Is it insane? Okay, let's do this bit with the yellow gemstone through here. That'd be hilarious if he was like at Best Buy blasting my stream. And some guy's like, check out this TV. And he's like, check out not a one. A tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Let's see. Let's see what's behind here. Ooh, a Mo disc. I like Mo discs. I'm at the mall and I have AirPods in. Oh, cool. Nice. Wow. That's awesome. Thanks for watching, even though you're like out and about, man. Appreciate it. Do, 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 do. Maybe if you need to cut someone in line, I'll just, like, play through some scary parts in the game and you can shove your phone in their face. Just kidding. Don't do that. I assume you're on a phone. You're not, like, carrying your laptop all around everywhere. If you are, hey, you know, power to you. Today's a good day to do last-minute shopping. Tomorrow and the next day, not so much, but today is much better. I do have a regularly scheduled stream for tonight, folks, at around 5. Um, we're going to be playing some Mario Kart. Chase will be there. Um, and others. So, yeah. And if Chase, you make it home, let me know. And uh, we can get started early if you want. All right, let's do this bit with Lisa. Actually, hmm, I wonder if there's a typewriter down there. Let's see. I don't know. Hmm. There is a typewriter in that room over there. Oh, let's just go for it. And if we die, we die. The motto of 2020 and 2021. The two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it? Sure, I'll open the giant scary door with the crazy noise coming from behind it. That sounds awesome. Oh, yep, I think there's a typewriter. It's an old typewriter. If I had an ink room, I could save my progress. Is there an item box down here? Hello! Pleased to meet you. Yeah, we'll put the Mo disc in there. We'll go and get the ink ribbon, and we will save it. Did I just pass through it? I'm pretty sure I flung right by it. There it is. All right. Let's go back up the stairs and save the game. Yes, I'm going to use the ink ribbon. I'm going to take a sip of water because it takes a very long time to save in this game. Ah, all right. So now we're going to head down here. And we're gonna get we're gonna get ready for the next area by getting that um, medal of wolf and medal of e medal of eagle 
and Metal of Wolf. That's how I imagine those voices are. Okay, let's see. Um, let's head this way. I think we're pretty good with our weapon situation and our healing situation. And we just saved it. So we are golden, golden. Back down into the caves. This looks like a fun area. You can tell something cool is about to happen down here. More candles. Hmm. A ladder. Let's see. Is there anything up here in this area? Before we go down the ladder, is there anything? No. There's just the ladder. So let's do it. Get go down the ladder, Jill. Come on. Come on, Jill. Up. Oh. Hey, I know that guy. Jill. You're alive. I didn't think you were. I was worried because I thought you were oh. start talking yeah calm down i didn't want to do it believe me i can explain don't lie to me don't fuck with jill valentine oh hey what's up y'all there she is in all her glory ah! Time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. I will. Thanks, Jill. Trust him. All right, so here's the deal with this area is that you got to push these four stones off the edge and make sure Elisa doesn't kill you because that's pretty bad. If she, does. <laughs> she makes scary noises. And the reason that you have to push the four stones off is if you remember on the note that we got earlier, it said four stones can't see mother, and there are chains attached to each stone. So as we push the stone off, notice what happens. Chains. Hello, goodbye. We dodged. Ugh, no. Oh, God, we're hurting. Are we... Oh, God! Let's use that thing. Come on, Jill, you got this. As we push that four stone, coffin is open, and mom is underneath in the coffin. Yeah, that's too bad. Sorry, Lisa. And then Lisa is so sad. Look what happens. She put, she picks up the skull and just, just is done. What do you think, Barry? I don't believe that thing's really dead. Well, we never see it Get again. This place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. You're a poet and don't know it. All right, so we're going on ahead. Here we go, folks. Up we go. Okay. Yeah, what happened, Chase, was Lisa found her mom in the coffin, and the four stones were preventing her from opening it, so she took the skull of her mom and killed herself. It's not a good day for Lisa. Gotta say. Gotta say. This door, I think, is locked. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we go over here to this giant fountain and a circular depression. There's a wolf-shaped emblem carved inside. So it's time for Metal of Wolf. And then you pop over to this side. And you guessed it. <coughs> A circular depression. There's an eagle-shaped emblem carved inside. And it's time for Metal of Eagle. Metal of Wolf. Metal of Eagle. Yay! Thanks, Jill, for putting those medals in there. Oh, you know what time it is. 
Oh, we just went the wrong way, so we just took a little tour of the fountain area, but we're gonna go down the stairs! Use the elevator? Yep. And just like that, folks, we are entering the last area of the game. Where the magic happens. Oh, boy. And I think... Oh, the sign reads, Will not open unless in first class emergency. First class emergency. I've never heard that before. Yeah, crusty burger. Huh? That doesn't sound too appetizing. Okay, we got, a t we got some ink ribbon and a typewriter as soon as you enter the area. So you know some ish is about to go down. It's an old typewriter. You can save your progress. Use the increment? Yes. I will. Save all day. Yeah, so we're in the last area of the game. Um, I don't think there are as many hunters in this area, so I'm gonna ditch the magnum ammo. I'll keep the magnum, because you never know. And um, I'll, t I'll take some shotgun shells for sure, definitely. And some regular ammo for sure. Um, I don't think we're gonna need anything else here. I'll ditch the inventory slot to, I won't take like a healing item. There's no more shotgun shells, right? No, okay. So we'll just stick with this. And we'll go We'll go shotgun stance for this next area. The last area of this game is a laboratory. And it's got it's got some stuff. Oh, we got some zombie action. I right, hear some footsteps. Hey buddy! Alright, we don't need no stinking shotgun for you. We're just gonna do this. We've got 80 shells for this. And we just need one. Get closer. Ah, oh, you wuss. All right, all right, he is dead. We got another one around the corner. Let's see if we can get him. I think he's around there. Yep, he's probably gonna appear. Peace out, dude. Gotcha, sucker. We got some healing items. We'll just leave those there, though. What's over here? Oh boy, another Mo disc. I like Mo discs. Part of the desk is covered in what appears to be some kind of acid. Nice. It's locked electronically. Okay. Well, let's go down the stairs. Let's reload and then. Oh, we already reloaded. Cool. Into the heart of the laboratory. The laboratory! The laboratory takes about an hour to do, unless you're doing a speedrun. <sighs> this area. Peace out, dude! I think there are no more of those. Let me see, though. None in that hallway. None in that hallway. I do hear you, buddy. I hear you. Oh, there you are. Huh. Oh, come on. Where are you? Are you still alive? Yep. Peace out, dude. Now I think he's dead. Okay, deaf dead now. All right, so now we go through this way, I think. It's hard to remember, honestly. Okay. Um, there's a first aid thing there. What's here? Let's see. I think we're about to run into Boulder Punch and Chris Redfield pretty soon. Let's see. Oh, yeah. So we gotta take this thing right here. And I think we just literally bring it right over here. And there's another one right here. 
Bunch of guts. A memo on the message board catches your attention. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Interesting. Okay. There's a space to put up an x-ray photograph. Yeah, okay. Okay. Is there... I think there's a light switch. Researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and I suspect, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. Wow! Timely! As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. Whew. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up a terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. My name and your name. Okay. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2 where the visual data room is located as a safety measure i have coded that password into an x-ray picture a row and row and something i'll be home by 4 30 your time nice uh a row row end genogram i know you and i'm sure you'll be able to work it out without any trouble there is just one more thing and it is my last request jesus this is a longer letter I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. So the username John, password Ada, for that whenever we have to enter that. John, Ada. Ada. Let's turn this light off. There's some kind of switch. Press it. Yes. Yeah. So that's colon C. That's esophagus. E. That's lung. L. Or liver. C E L. L. Cell. Cell. That is the password. Is cell. Uh, let's see. Is can we get into this computer? So one of the passwords is cell, and one of the passwords is Ada. And the username is John. If we ever get the username. Fuck if I know. Alright, let's see what's down this way. It's locked. Great. Oop. I got a restricted phone call. Please hold. I'm gonna pause my mic and you can listen to this sweet music while I do so. Sorry about that, folks. It was the wrong number. All right, uh, let's look at this. Levers for releasing the door locks. Now, if you can just release the locks on the levers. All right, let's release dem locks. Yeah, Chase, depending on what time we get all set with this, uh, maybe we could start the Mario Kart stream early with just me and you, and then others can join if they want. Who knows? Let's see what's in here. I know at a certain point some, some shit jumps out of the walls in that room. Ooh, magnum ammo. Do I have space for that? Ugh, barely. I wish I could use this Mo disc. So there's magnum ammo in here. That's good to know. Part of a corpse lies on the operating table. A monitor used to display images from an electron microscope. V Act, researchers note. There's now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. 
During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. Nice. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them VX. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already, four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. Hey, we know those guys. Oh, there was no end parentheses there. Pipo. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Ah, that's the guy that we fought. All right, so I think this is the thing where it's John as the password. J-O-H-N. And the password, as the name, and then the password is Ada. Ada. Let's see. Accessing. Oh, what a sweet, sweet noise. Basement door lock operation. Select floor. B2F. Permission denied. Try enter password. I think it's cell. Because we put those x-rays together. And it's spelled cell. Oh, love that noise. Unlocked. Cool, that upstairs area is unlocked now. That's cool. Let's unlock this one. Hell yeah. Now that door is unlocked. Awesome. Quit. Yes. Awesome. Is there a guy over here? I think there might be. Let's see. Hmm. What's on this wall? Oh, uh, I don't want that. That's just another first aid thing. They are generous with the first aid stuff. Variety of chemicals you've never seen before. Variety of chemicals you've never seen before. That's what I thought I saw, that red battery pack. I'll take that. Let's see. An information management server. It appears to be broken. Hmm. All right, so we got some magnum shells in here. Let's take them. I just can't leave the magnum shells lying around. I think they're so precious. And they whoop ace. Okay, so we got some doors unlocked now. Uh, so we could try, let's see, we could do, I think we'll, let's do the upstairs one first. I'm gonna uh, switch to this one. Because I think there are some dudes that pop out of those pretty soon, but maybe not yet. Let's go upstairs! Man, they give you so many. Oh. Hey, buddy. Hey, Crimson Head. How you doing? Come down the stairs to see me. Peace out, dude. Yep, so he is done. I had a feeling that some of them would come alive. Now, this is unlocked, and there's nothing in here. It's just a bunch of scary stuff. A bunch of scary, like, exposition type stuff. Let's see. Will you take the Mo Disc? Oh, God, I have so many of them. No, but I know it's there. Is there a place to put the Mo Disc? Map the laboratory. Take it. Yes. Yay! You got a map of the laboratory. So we videos are stored on shelves. They're all secure. Yeah, boring. What's this? Hey, I'll take those. Nice. They don't take up any inventory slots. A screen for use with a movie projector. Hmm, intriguing. A passcode entry terminal. Use it. Ooh. Uh, hmm. Maybe I won't use it yet. There's something over here. I'm not... Oh, that's the MoDisc. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't want to... God damn it. All right, I think maybe... Can we put the MoDisc into the... Film has been set into place. View it. 
Oh, uh, yeah, we see all the creatures that we've been fighting. Cerberus, Neptune, Hunter, Tyrant? What's that? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Probably the game developers. Bioorganic Weapons Research Group development staff. 83417623. Hey, you know what? I just remembered that if you turn off the lights in here, let's see, where's that light switch? The light switch. Where is that light switch? Security protocols. Level one. Heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. Basement level one. Uh, passage to heliport entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on sight. Yikes. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level two. Visual data room. Uh, for use by the Special Research Division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Prison Sanitation Division controls. The use of the prison, at least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, uh, S. Ross A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. <gasps> Triple lock door entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all of the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals. Use and access, use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior researchers. Basement level four. Regarding the progress of Tyrant after the administration of T-virus, illegible hereafter. Hmm. Once again, mysterious. God, is there a way to turn the lights off? There's got to be a way. I think there's a way to do that in here. Let's see. A screen for use of the movie projector. I think there is a light switch in here. Passcode entry terminal. Use it. No. Hmm. Is this a light switch over here? No. God, where is the light switch? Maybe I have to, like, deactivate the power to get the light off? I think that's probably what I have to do. Uh stupid. Yep. Let's see. Um, okay. I guess that's what we'll do then. We'll try to deactivate the power. Hmm. We'll head back downstairs. Got all these mo discs. Maybe there's a place to put the mo discs downstairs. Let's try that. Oh, you know what it is? There's a separate... I know what it is. I have to put a separate thing into the thing that views the reel. Let's see. I got some mo discs. Can I open this door? It's locked. A symbol resembling a power area is carved into the lock. Can I go this way? It's locked. Symbol resembling a power area. All right, fine. Then let's go to the other room that we unlocked. Because we can't do anything else. Ugh. Please let there be a place to put the Mo Discs. Well, there's some first, there's an ink ribbon and some grenade stuff. Oh, there's that, but I can't carry anymore. Oh, God damn it, that's what I have to do. Filled with clear liquid, you'd be better off not touching it. I agree. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, let's kill zombie Ken Jennings and then we'll get the hell out of here. He's definitely dead. Let's see, anything over here? A security system passcode transmission device. A security system passcode transmission device. If you had a MO disk, you could transmit the passcode to the system. Well, I happen to have a MO disk right here. Oh. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. I pray that the third mo disc is down here. Not necessary to use this now. What? 
Oh my god, you have to, like, move over slightly to... Oh. Alright, hold on, I'm getting another phone call. Just give me a sec here. Two phone calls in a half hour. I'm so popular today. How the hell? You can't use this MoDisc? Really? It appears to be a disc for rebooting a system. Ugh. Alright, fine. We'll hold on to the stupid MoDisc. But you know what? We will... Ooh, what's this? Facts. To Sanitation Division, Manager of Sanitation, Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. <clears throat> After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-viruses outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all the survivors of the accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public dis disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. Yeah, I can confirm that. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. All right. So we're going to, they're trying to eradicate stars. That's not cool, man. Not cool. I will take the slide filter. Guess I could go back and use that because the Mo disc apparently does not go into this stupid GameCube thing. So let's do that. Could I? Let's see. Wait. Oh, this area takes forever to load. Okay, so we'll go... Oh, we have to go upstairs. So we'll do that. To the upstairs! Bet you can guess where we use that little circular thingy. And if you can't, well, I don't know what to tell you. All right, let's uh, go over here and do this. I think we use it here. Let's see. Ugh. The film has been set into place. View it? No. So if I've turned slightly, can I now do it? Yes. All right, now that we've done that, it's a little red filter, but what's really cool is at the end, 8462 is now highlighted, which means we can now go eight, four, six, two. Hey, no idea what that did, but great. A secret passageway, wonderful. Let's see what's behind the door. I will take the laboratory key. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. View the film? Sure. Remember Kenneth? That guy that got eaten by the zombie in the first, the first zombie we found in the game? Here he is. Oh no, Kenneth. Poor Kenneth. I don't want to watch it again. Nope. All right. That was all that was in there. 
Well, there's more stuff in here, but we don't need it. Let's go use the lab key where we need to use it. That other zombie, I think, just died. I think he's done done. Dun dun. Folks, I gotta pee. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, folks. Nature calls. Okay. Now let's head into this area with our brand new lab key. Okay. I think we want this. Heading to the new area with the lab key. Do 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 do. You use a lab key. I think I can use it here, too. You use a lab key. There's no further use. Discard. Hell yeah. Get the fuck out of here, lab key. I'm gonna do. Let's see. I think I want to do. Oh, that's a big ass area down there. It's a big ass area. I want to be in this area next. Can't get in here. I think. Yeah, rusted shut. Uh, there's no key situation for that door. And I think this is the elevator. Yeah, the elevator isn't working. Looks like you'll have to operate the switch on the right-hand side. It appears to be the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch. Doesn't seem to be getting any power. Okay, so the elevator needs power. Is there a... Oh, I passed right by a room, and I think it's a pretty important room. And you'll see why, folks. A save room with an item box. All right. Well, I guess I might need the MoDisc. I don't know. I'm going to put this away, though. Create some space here. And pray to God that I don't need more ammo than this. But I don't think I will. Uh, I'll hold on to the MoDisc. Um... I'll take that first aid spray, sure, and put it in there. They are so generous with the first aid spray. Oh, and you know what? You know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to pass by my ink ribbon and save. Old typewriter, save progress, ink ribbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know how this works. Lab lounge. What a cozy lounge. It's like 10 square feet. All right, anything over here? Refrigerator isn't turned on. What a fascinating thing. Hey, let's add to our ink ribbon pile. That sounds good. Oh, there's some shotgun shells. Let's get those. Yep. 
And we'll get the grenades that are here. Yep. I think those are standard grenade shells. Just regular old grenade shells. Chairs and supplies scattered about. The walls are covered with dozens of claw marks. Ooh, nice touch. All right, we're going to ditch this. We will combine this with the other shotgun shells that we have. Oh, there is a third Mo disc in our collection up here. I just passed by it. Interesting. All right, we'll combine this with the uh, grenades here. And... Okay, so we'll take that other Mo disc. This might be... This might be the bit, the worst decision, but we'll do that. And you know what? We'll take some, the shotgun shells, too. But that's it. Nothing else. Okay? And I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope. All right. Proceed. Man, when you speed run in this game, you must have to, like, skip all those rooms. Oh, this looks like a fun area. Oh, I remember this area. This area sucks. I'm glad I have the shotgun shells. Yep, this is a sucky area for certain reasons. You'll see why. You have to fight these, like, spider monkey dudes. They are terrible. I'm gonna get rid of all these guys before we proceed. Let's see. I think there's more down this way. There's more, for sure. Get the hell out of here! Okay! <laughs> oh no! Jill, reload! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, get off me! Oh, cool, a defense item. Whew. How you doing, Jill? Oh, she's fine. She just got <laughs> pulled into the ceiling by some crazy creature, but she's fine. Any other ones? I'm walking around to trigger any jump scares. I think we got them all. Noise. All right, what does this say? Warning! Fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Okay. A refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. Oh, we are going to take that! Here's the thing, though. Once we fill that shiz up, we got to walk back here, and that takes forever. And I'm pretty sure that this door will not, is not going to open. Oh, it is open. That's some scary stuff. Yeah, Chase. Those things suck. Oh, there's more. Oh, I was ready for you, son. Got you. And there's definitely going to be more. Let's see. Oh, cool. A security system passcode transmission device. If you had a Mo disk, well, guess what I have, bitch. Oh, I see. They can only. There's only space for one in each one. That makes sense. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Cool. All right, let's find that third one. Hello. Good morning. And good night. Jesus Christ. Anybody else want to be a hero? So glad I got the shotgun shell. Oh, <laughs> that one was awesome. That one was great. Oh, oh shit! He just exploded too. That was great. I think I got headshots on both of those guys. That was great. I guess there's something else in this room. Let's keep exploring. Might be something else in here. Oh, ah. hey, battery pack. I'll take that. Now we're good. Now there's something else in this area. So I guess let's check out this area. Oh, good. Someone has already landed. Peace out! Reload. I know there's more of you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> oh my god, there's two! Ah! Oh! Jesus. Those guys are assholes. They're so weird. They're like spider bugs or something. Spider bugs, yeah. Spider monkeys. 
Lab self-destruct mechanism. It's huge. Yep, there's a computer here. Uh, okay. There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. The system won't initialize. It appears to need some kind of fuel. Oh, right, the canister. Anything else in here? No. So, we gotta bring that fuel back to that area. All right, you got any more surprises? Any more of these fucking assholes gonna pop out of the walls? I think there is one last mo disc. There is one last mo disc to unlock, so we're gonna go do that shit. Let's see. Okay. Uh, through the door. All right. So we're gonna go this way now. And now that those things have appeared, they're gonna appear in other areas, which is just lovely. Let's trigger all that so we don't have to deal with it. Let's see, there's gonna be some out here. Let's just fly through. They will pop out, I think. Hmm? Or maybe not. Whoa, hello! Goodbye! <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. All right. No more of those, though? Seriously? Do I have to go the other way? Maybe I have to go the other way to trigger it. I apologize. I really want to make sure those guys pop out, though, because you'll see why. Well, I guess not. Okay. Well, let's enter this room over here. This room right here. Do we have any space in the inventory? Let's see. All right, we got two. Oh, man, one shotgun shell left. Yee. Pray for me. That's okay. We have, like, 38 grenade rounds. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. Where are you? I hear you. I hear you, dude. Where are you? I have to push this, I think. At a weird angle. There. Yeah, I'll take those. So timely. Thanks for that. And I think this thing's gonna pop down. If I go up here, let's see. Uh, cool, I made it through to the other side. And now I'm over here. Oh, but there's something back through there. Let's do that. Oh, that guy. He will probably follow me through here. Let's see. Something back here, let's see. What did I miss in here? Oh. Oh! Oh, Jesus. I am not liking this. I, I hear it. Where is it going? Peace out, dude! Oh! Across the room! The operating table is covered in blood. This blood doesn't look like it came from surgery, though. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Various precision instruments used in surgery. All right. We're getting pretty close to the end here. The operating... Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there anything in here? Can we go through this door? Rusted shut. Right, right, right. Oh, hello! Oh, got you! Okay. It would be great if no more of those showed up. But they probably will. Okay, so now we're in here. Oh, cool! A space for... Oh, get, get out of here. A space for a MODISC! If you added a MODISC, you could transmit the passcode. Well, I happen to have a MODISC right here. I always come prepared. Cool. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. It'd be cool if we could beat this game before the Mario Kart stream. Where is... Oh, uh, we're back here. Got it. Okay. And I don't think we need anything in the other room either. We're good here. Awesome. Let's get the hell out of here. 
However, I do think now we're going to trigger all the dudes coming out from all the spots. So prepare yourself. We will have to trigger all of those. Whew, here we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Reload, not fire. How much do we have? Okay, we got eight. That's a good amount. Anybody? God, nobody? Really? Okay, well, I guess let's go unlock the thing. Maybe you have to unlock the three levers, and then after that, you can do it. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Hang on, let me, let me think about this for a sec. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna open this. Lever's releasing the door. It looks like you can pull it. Yes. Oh, God. We're going to have to go through that dialogue three times. Yep. All three. One, two, and three. But there's somebody behind this door. Guess who's behind the door, folks? Can you guess? We got the Christmas music playing. Timely. And way down here at the bottom of the stairs, we got another door. And it's Boulder punching Chris Redfield behind the door. Jill. Chris, you're alive. Of course I'm alive. I punch boulders. Jill, there's something big going down, and I don't think we're part of the equation. I have to get you out of here. Ugh, it won't open. Wait, I'll be back to get you out. Okay. Yeah, you no sightseeing, though. Uh, boy, you're funny. Okay, let's see. Anything here? Nope. So we do want to get Chris out of there. What? The big prison door was locked? Yeah, so you have to go get the key now. But you have to trigger that cutscene. I'm, what I'm wondering, Chase, is how come Chris Redfield can't just punch through the door? He punches fucking boulders, you know? So now we're going through here simply to trigger these guys. I think they're finally around. Let's do it and see if they're around. <sighs> Please be there. No? God! All right, well, now we have to do something real scary. So we're going to do that. Real scary and real boring, but we'll do it. Okay. Didn't he punch the boulder up a hill? I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure he did, Chase. All right, so we're going to go in here. I wonder if this guy that we killed earlier is a crimson head. Oh, boulder punching Chris Redfield. Oh, he is still here. Jesus. Okay. Well, let's see if we can... Is he going to wake up if we walk over him? No, okay. All right. Um. So there are some grenades in here, too. Hmm... Uh, do I want the grenades? Nah, I won't need them. There seems to be something behind this sturdy door. Open it? Yep. It looks like a refueling device. Set the capsule into place? Yes. So now it's going to fill with fuel, and then we're going to go back to the area where we can fill it. You got the fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. Rotting could result in a fatal explosion. So... Translation, do not run when you have this thing. Oh, whatever, I'm just going to get this. I think that also includes the quick turnaround move that you can sometimes do in Resident Evil games, where you just, like, quickly go in the opposite direction. And now we're going to do a very boring and very terrifying walk all the way back to where that capsule thingy was. Oh, my God, is this going to be boring? Ugh. Yep, just gonna continue down this way. Not gonna run, because running is bad. Running triggers the bomb. Do, 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 do. Boy, this is boring. This is the most exciting part of the stream.
Still walking. I really hope none of those creepy crawlies are around, because that would suck. I think I got all of them, but I'm not positive. Oh, man. So now the most direct route to the fuel canister spot is this way. And we are so close to the end of the game, folks. Now I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Hold on, folks. Got a time out for a sec.
Okay, sorry about that. It's not working out because there's no fuel. Set the capsule into place, yes. Yay, we don't have to walk anymore. But now, folks, you know what I'm going to do is my Mario Kart stream is coming up real soon. So I'm going to save the game and end the stream. So sorry to make you wait that nine minutes I was on the phone. But it was an important phone call, and I had to take it. So it happens. Uh, I'm just going to save game up here, and then we'll call it a day. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to do another bonus ode of Resident Evil, and we will absolutely beat it tomorrow for sure, without question. Um, so, yeah. Let's get the ink ribbon. <laughs> and save it. And next time we'll pick up right where we left off and dive into the final part of Resident Evil. Thanks for watching, friends. And stay tuned because in about 10 minutes I'll be live with Mario Kart 8. And you can join me for that too, if you like. Bye.